London, it's the, it's the week of the final, and what's your thoughts heading into it? I'm looking forward to it. Um, obviously, as a club, it's it's massive for us, and I think we've waited now it'll be three months when Sunday comes and since we last qualified for it. So it's a long time coming. You've probably 15 league games or something in between them too. So uh, listen, as a player, it's hard not to think about a cup final. You're you're always told to to not think about it and stuff, but now that it's here, you're you're buzzing for it and just can't wait to get going. And uh, talk us through the journey of the final. Obviously, our first two games were away, and then we had two home games as well, like uh, Glentoran and, and Warren Point. Yeah, obviously we went to Bangor, and I think Bangor's top of the is it Premier Intermediate, and they were going well. I think they made a few changes because it probably wasn't a, a priority to them to get through. But going down there, it's a tight pitch, and it's a three G that's probably been there for for quite a long time. So it was a difficult difficult night, but. Listen, I thought we'd done well, we scored early and, and kicked on and then going the way to Carrick as well, it's, it's no easy task again and the, the pitch down there is not great, you're going there on a Wednesday night and it's cold and it's wet but listen, we came through it too and we probably get the Glens at a good time, um, that's probably when they went through their sticky patch um, and probably since then they've probably kicked on and lost very little games. Um, Probably home advantage as well is key in that regard and then the one point game. One of them ones couldn't believe that they came and set up with the game plan that they did. Um, in a cup, cup semi-final, um, it's just one of them ones you're expecting a cup game just to be in the end and felt more like a league game where they just didn't want to lose. But listen, probably us scoring early helped a lot that night. I think we scored after five or six minutes. Um, and then it was one of them ones where we were firmly in control. They got a red card, and then after that, it was just about being professional and pretty much laying down a marker and scoring as many as we could. And thankfully, we done that. But the only disappointment was not keeping a clean sheet. And obviously, the the one you won the competition in twenty twenty on your birthday as well. Um, and uh, what's your memories from from that day? Um, obviously, it was a great day for me and like celebrating. What age was it? Twenty three. <laughs> it's twenty third birthday and. Uh, obviously winning the cup and pretty much a dream come true for me and actually when we qualified when we got into the cup final this year I thought it was going to be my birthday again because it's usually in around that time um, but then obviously heard that it got moved but listen you look back on them days and, and that's the days you want to be a part of and even Irish cup days as well it's days like that is what you dream of as a player and days that you look back on and say I've got my medals and we partied for two days or whatever after you win it, so that's the, the days and weekends that you look forward to. And uh, you're obviously in your footballer and you, and you want to add your, your medal all obviously and, and win a trophy for your local team. Well that's it, it's at the end of your career you don't want to sit and say I won one medal or two medals, you want to look back and turn around and say I won eight, nine, ten, or just to let, listen as many as possible and at any given opportunity to win a medal, you want to take that chance. So. Listen, it's, it's going to be a tough task, Glenville's top side, they're sitting, like, I, I, can't, I couldn't believe it that when they beat one point last week, they were only a point behind, I didn't even realise it was that close. Like, the job that they've done this year is, has been unbelievable, testament to Paddy and his players. And it's just one of them ones where the cup competitions can throw up anything, anything can happen on any given day. And we probably do come into it as underdogs in this season, but... As I say, cup competitions can throw an hang up and, and hopefully we can come away with a trophy. And if you weren't playing, you would you would definitely be in the stands cheering them on. 100%. And, and, uh, um, be in the middle of the singing and probably probably wouldn't see too much of you, <laughs> probably too much drinking me, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm playing. Um, but but how, I'm important are they, how important are the fans going to be? The fans are going to be massive. Um, listen, they're big for us all year round, but especially in big games like that, like boxing day, cup finals and, and things like that, they're, they're unbelievable and I don't know if they realise how much they help us, but if you're getting it tight, say you're 1-0 up with 10 minutes to go in a cup final and you're getting it tight, hearing them sing or sing your name or just anything, shouting and roaring, whatever, it just gives you that extra push and knowing that you're doing it for them and you're going back to Corey and they, they party away. I don't know, five, six, seven hundred of them in the, in the club as well. It's, it's obviously something to look forward to.